All right, everyone, we're taking a look at this new Curtis Rimfire conversion kit for their center fire actions. This is Robert's new rifle, and it is the Valor. And uh, the reason why he's here right now is he needs to borrow my Whiskey 3 because his stock is still getting fixed up or something. Anyway, so this is the Valus, uh, Valus, <laughs> Valor action from Curtis. And if you want to take out that bolt, he is running the Rimfire conversion in it. So this is the bolt. Obviously the design is a lot different than the center fire one. You can see the Valor here is a three lug design, but the lugs on the rimfire bolt act more as guide rails. And the rest of it, it's a similar sort of setup to my Voodoo bolt, which I will grab here. So if you spin yours around, you can see very similar sort of setup in terms of like the two halves. And the recoil lug are also midway on the Curtis, and it's that guy right there, I believe. Yeah. So that is the rimfire bolt. It's pretty neat. This is a quick swap system on the Valor, which means the barrel there is actually just turned on hand tight, and there's a set screw on either side, so you don't need a barrel vise to do barrel swaps. If you're showing up to like a weekend match at a venue that has a center fire on one day and a rim fire on the next, it's cool because you can just spin off your center fire barrel, throw on the rim fire put on the rimfire bolt, obviously. And then the, lastly, there's a ejector plate that you need to install. So the ejector plate is this guy right here, which as you can see there, just is installed through the magwell. It's pretty neat. It's held in to the action via these magnets and it provides you with that little bump there for the ejection of your rimfire rounds, which obviously a uh, center fire doesn't need that would just get in the way of a center fire. So when you're switching it to the rim fire, that goes into the bottom of the action through the magwell, and it's held in there with the magnets. And if you grab a mag here, you can see fits perfectly. This actually comes uh, shipped to the conversion kit with a voodoo mag. That's what they're designed to run with and it's a pretty neat setup So a little bit more deets about Robert's new Curtis again This is the Valor action running the rimfire conversion. So this is a rimfire bolt With a rimfire barrel and the ejector plate. This is his first outing with it So we're gonna see how it runs for him today. We did have to adjust some things to get it to feed uh, You probably can't see it, but the the chamber or the, the, I guess the barrel tenon ends in a cone. So there's no extractor cuts. Um, so you have to make sure that your feed angle is like perfect so it doesn't get caught on the, the edge of the cone and stuff like that. But it's a pretty neat setup. It's a 60 degree throw on the bolt and the barrel, what are the specs again? It's a 22 inch IBI 1 in 12 twist. 22 inch in length, 1 in 12 twist, made by IBI and it's an MTU profile. Rob's new action in action. All right, Rob, I don't know if I'm gonna see anything, but it's pretty foggy. <laughs> that was a post. Where the heck did I hit the post? So I think you, you might be a little bit low. Aim for the middle again. Okay, I've come up too. Yeah, I might have hit it just on the bottom there. Okay, aiming for the center. Drilling that middle. I came up two mils, that's impossible. Do it again. But if you were low, that would make sense. Okay, you see the one off to the right, the one hit? Yeah. I'll aim for that one. See that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. An inch to the left. Ish. Two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, high. Okay, let's try again. Guess I'll be zeroing at 75. Yeah, right on top of it.
All right, so I stole Robert's rifle here after the match just to do a quick little uh, debrief. This was the first outing he had with the rimfire conversion in the new Valor, and it seemed to work okay. He was having a few mag issues, but the Whiskey 3 doesn't have an adjustable mag latch, so hopefully the uh, the manor stock he's getting with the new bottom metal will help with that. Oh. So hopefully the new McMillan stock he's getting with the adjustable bottom metal will help with that because he can play around the mag height. But it seemed like it was running pretty well. I did notice that um, the bolt probably needs to break in a little bit because it's a little bit clunky at the moment but that's with most actions out there i will be keeping an eye on this uh this setup because i shoot with robert all the time and i'm very interested to see how this curtis action breaks in and how it runs he is getting a whole center fire setup for it so he will be using it in that sort of quick swap configuration between his center fire calibers and rim fire so i think it's pretty neat again i'm going to keep an eye on it uh, today was its first outing and it was more like a function check just given the conditions we were shooting in but he hit the smallest target of the match which was a uh, two inch at 160 yards and some pretty crazy wind so obviously this thing can shoot and uh, yeah that's basically it the new curtis rimfire conversion that everyone's been asking me to cover you're welcome <laughs>